Let's talk about what you just said there, controlling our borders. Immigration yeah. has become a focal point of, in the EU referendum. People are concerned whether public services can cope. Would you say Britain is full? Would Brexit help? Oh, Brexit would certainly help because uh, we would immediately be able uh, to take back control of our own borders. Now, controlling borders doesn't mean closing them. It doesn't mean saying immigration's a bad thing, full stop. It means controlling them. It means setting the terms under which people come, setting the numbers, uh, deciding whom we will take and whom we won't, crucially, uh, whom we can send back and whom we can't. Um, those things uh, can then be determined here. But I would never want to have control of borders uh, viewed synonymously with closing mm. the borders. Steve, would you like to respond yeah, well, to that? Uh, do you know, if Anne was saying earlier that she didn't get a chance to watch the thing from Wembley last night, but one of the big points was simply that in the end, the Leave side admitted that actually, even if we leave, we can't control the borders. And Boris Johnson has followed up on that this morning. In fact, it was headlines on the BBC, et cetera, et cetera. But I think the point is we fall back into this thing. We fall Steve, back into pushing. Can I hear pushing. what you think? Yeah. Rather than the debate yesterday, we yeah. might have watched the debate. What do no, you think? Do okay. you think immigration has been undoubtedly a focal point? Oh, absolutely. It's been a focal point. How is staying in, how are we going to remedy this? I think that when we work together, we work together with uh, other uh, governments across Europe and we play our full part in the continent that we are part of and can't leave. We can divorce the EU, but we're still part of Europe. Mm. Um, I believe that as we work together, and I don't think that Britain has ever taken uh, uh, Europe very seriously. I sometimes go to Brussels. I'm always appalled at the low profile and the low energy that we have as a nation into Brussels and its parliament. I think as we work together, we need to work through this migration crisis, which isn't just European, which well, is a worldwide indeed, one. Indeed, there be more people coming from outside Europe into Britain than from Europe, I understand. And you're dying to respond. Well, yes, I am, because it is a nonsense to suggest that we won't control our own borders. Now, I'm sorry, I've been a Home Office Minister, which is more mm. than you or Boris have ever been. Uh, well, so I was, I, I'm, uh, just, I'm just taking <laughs> Boris's word for it. He asked us <laughs> All the time, man. If you're no man. If you're no man. I've just been asked to speak. Uh, next time you say Steve, I'll respond. Uh, so it is a nonsense to say that we can't control our own borders. The EU obliges us to accept free movement of people, which we cannot limit or control, free movement of people from the EU into Britain. The day that we actually uh, can negate that uh, by coming out of the treaty is the day that we can take control of that. As for taking control of immigration that comes in from outside Europe, there are plenty of things which we should be doing which we are not doing, as I have been saying for a very long time. But the idea that we can't is a nonsense. We can. What about what about our Christian duty to love our neighbours? Does that not extend to people who want to does. come and live here? I didn't say close the borders. I said control the borders. I, Everybody I always elides the two. Why not start your day with Inspirational Breakfast, Monday to Fridays from 7am, only on Premier Christian Radio, where faith comes to life.